Good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Ziba Khan, and I honor all of you and appreciate all of you for joining me this morning here in Singapore. Happy International Yoga Day to all of you. Today, we're going to create a meditation experience to have you, have you fill your day with grace and with ease. Before we begin, I'd like to take this opportunity to remind you that this 13-hour yoga marathon online is free today as a part of us raising money for the Children's Cancer Foundation. We're asking participants if they would like to, from the generosity of their heart, to please donate to our fundraiser today. Uh, if you would like to practice generosity, please do so by visiting the Real Yoga Singapore website. That's www.realyoga.com.sg. Generosity is a beautiful practice. It opens our heart, it relaxes our ego, and we help each other in the world. So now we begin today's meditation practice. We'll open with a pranayam or a breathing exercise. And today we'll be doing a full yogic breath. So we'll be expanding all the way from our diaphragm up through our rib cage and our collarbone. So you can join me now. You're welcome to get comfortable in a seated position. For the pranayama, we want to be seated. So please remain seated and gently close your eyes. Place your hands, palms down on your thighs. Inhale deeply, slowly, and continuously until the abdomen bulges out. As you exhale, draw the abdomen inwards continuously and slowly. So you really want to imagine your belly expanding and then contracting. There should be no jerks in this process. You want it to be smooth and continuous and relaxing. And please try simply to isolate the belly. We don't want to move the chest or any other part of the body. So let's do this together five times. Inhale deeply. And exhale. Keeping your hands, palms down on your thighs, we'll segue into intercostal or rib cage breathing. This time, inhale deeply, expanding your rib cage forward, upwards, and outward. Exhale completely, relaxing the chest wall and returning it to the resting position. Be sure that as we go through this five times that we isolate the rib cage. So together we begin. Inhale deeply, expanding. And exhale, relaxing.
Beautiful. Now we move to the third and final stage of our full yogic breathing. And that's clavicular breathing or our collarbone region. Again, keeping your palms down, resting on your thighs. Inhale deeply, expanding the collarbones out to your left and to your right. Exhale, dropping the shoulders and feeling your collarbones sliding in towards one another again. We'll do this five times together, really trying to isolate the collarbone and shoulder region. Inhale. Exhale, relax. Lovely, and now we put it all together. <clears throat> Keeping your eyes closed, palms down, still on your thighs. Deep inhale into your belly, feel it expanding, rising up to your ribs, feel them expanding into your collarbone, feel them sliding towards your shoulders and exhale in reverse. The collarbones come together, your rib cage relaxes, and your belly relaxes as well. <clears throat> Let's do this together five times. Deep inhale. And release. As you remain seated with your eyes closed, take a deep inhale and check in with your body. Feel the sensations in your body. Feel how energetic you feel. Feel how you're Fire is burning a little bit more brightly, but with less heat. Whenever you're ready, you may gently open your eyes. <clears throat> we will now begin our Tonglen, our Tibetan Buddhist meditation for today. I want you to be comfortable, completely comfortable. So if you'd like to, you may sit down in a chair or lean with your back against a wall. You may sit on a meditation cushion and you may even 
lay down, whatever is comfortable for you. There's no right or wrong posture to be in for this meditation. The most important thing is that you be comfortable because if you're not physically comfortable, you won't be able to relax your body and your mind. So if you need to, uh, you're welcome to grab a blanket because our body temperature uh, oftentimes falls while we're meditating and relaxing and some of us will get cold. So if you'd like to, you can grab a blanket and keep it nearby or you can grab a pair of socks. Um, you can grab a pillow, whatever you'd like to be comfortable. And when you're there, when you're physically comfy, allow your eyelids to gently float closed. And together, let's take a long, slow, deep breath in through the nose. And gently let that go. And let's breathe in again together through the nose. And gently release. And continue to watch your breath as it moves in and as it moves back out. And the longer and slower and more silently you breathe, the deeper your breath goes, the quieter you get. the more relaxed your body becomes. The calmer your mind becomes. Keep witnessing. Keep observing your breath as it moves in and as it moves back out. Today, we will use the guidance of the 14th century Persian Sufi poet, Shams Eddin Hafiz. Here is one of the most recited poems titled, A Hole in the Flute. Now it contains the word God. And even if you were not brought up in a formal religious or spiritual tradition, it's still likely that you believe in some form of intelligence beyond hours. And you are welcome to replace the word God with any other term that resonates with you, such as the universe, source, consciousness, the divine, a higher power, whatever brings you peace. Most of us tend to have a similar understanding regarding God's nature. Essentially, this being created everything, controls or influences everything, and is everywhere. God is infinite, immortal, omnipresent, spans the existence of time and is therefore timeless. God is capable of resurrection and rebirth, can be worshiped and appealed to, 
and has the ability to craft what many of us would deem to be miracles. So here we go, a hole in the flute by the Persian Sufi poet, Shamsuddin Hafiz. I am a hole in the flute that God's breath moves through. Listen to this music. I am the concert from the mouth of every creature, singing with the myriad chorus. I am a hole in the flute that God's breath moves through. Listen to this music. There is a part of you right now that needs the deepest healing, the most profound return to wholeness, the biggest shift. Perhaps there are wounds trauma, painful memories attached to that part of you. And at the cellular level, every atom in your body is aware of the disturbance and the suffering that you have gone through. Right now, see your whole body mind and soul as fully aware of everything that has gone on. In this moment, we remember that there are no secrets between the heart and the soul. No mysteries, no riddles, no confidences, no surprises. Every fiber of your being knows everything that your heart and your soul have been through. You may have worked so hard to suppress it, to wall it off, to compartmentalize it. Yet this knowing flows through every cell and the pain associated with it is being felt throughout your body even when your attention isn't focused on it. It just needs the right hot button and it'll flare up from some invisible level. So right here, right now, in this moment, we will practice removing the charge of these memories from our mind, from our heart, from our body, and from our soul. In the ancient practice of Tibetan Buddhism, there's a practice known as Tonglen. Tonglen. Translated from the Tibetan, Tonglen means giving and receiving. And we awaken our ability to give and receive even when we are alone. 
And that's the beauty of this sweet practice. We start by recognizing that we are conduits. We are vessels of the universe. We breathe in the universe and we flow it back out. Whether that's anger or regret or a grievance, we put out energy into the world. By the same token, we can also choose to put out love, compassion, forgiveness. The key in this exercise is to view everyone, including yourself, as a conduit, as a vessel of the universe. Remember, we are the whole in the flute that God's breath moves through. So together, we take a long, slow, deep breath in. And gently let that go. The Tonglen practice is a breathing practice. So let's breathe in through our nose until our abdomen is full. Let's do that together right now. And then release the breath and allow it to empty completely from our bodies. Continue to breathe deeply like this. And remember the poem from Hafiz. Allow the universe to flow into you and out of you with each breath. You are the flute. And as we continue to breathe deeply, allow your body to settle down. Allow your mind to relax. If you drift away to thoughts or sounds or physical sensations, that's all right. Ever so gently return to your deep breathing.
Feel the universe filling you up and flowing you back out. And as we begin this practice of energetic tonglen exchange, notice for a moment that your body is starting to melt. Your body is softening as you breathe in. Feel your heart energetically and feel it softening as well. as you continue in your relaxed state of deep breathing. Allow feelings to flow through you. There is no need to grab onto any particular feeling that flows through you. We're simply non-attaching from feeling. There's nowhere else to be right now. There's nothing else for you to do. You're right here right now in this sacred, precious, present moment. Simply be and feel And as you continue with your deep breathing, we want it to be gentle. We want it to be effortless. So make sure that there's no forcing, but rather because your mind and body are deeply relaxed, you have a natural, effortless balance of effort with ease. Our breathing is natural. We're nourishing and oxygenating and healing every cell 
in our physical body. And this has a ripple effect that carries into our mental body, our emotional body, our energetic body, and our spiritual body. Feel your body relaxing even more. Feel yourself deeply grounded. Unmoved and unshaken by any external factors. and any internal thoughts emotions or judgments We will now delve into the heart of today's Tonglen meditation. And release. Again, inhale, and let's exhale, fear. Breathe in love, and exhale, darkness. Breathe in light. And exhale, weakness. Inhale, strength. And exhale, constriction. Inhale, expansion. Exhale, Poverty. Inhale, abundance. Exhale, heaviness. Inhale, lightness. Exhale, playing small. Inhale, playing big. Exhale, pain. Inhale, relief.
Exhale, dis-ease. Inhale, healing. Exhale, fear. Inhale, trust. Exhale, anger. Inhale, love. Exhale, darkness. Inhale, light. Exhale, weakness. Inhale, strength. Exhale, constriction. Inhale, expansion. Exhale, poverty. Inhale, abundance. Exhale, heaviness. Inhale, lightness. Exhale, playing small. Inhale, playing big. Exhale, pain. Inhale, relief. Exhale, dissolve. Inhale, healing. Exhale, fear. Inhale, trust. Exhale, anger. Inhale, love. Exhale, love. Inhale, love. Exhale, love. Inhale, love. Exhale, love. And in this moment, you are a conduit a channel, a pure expression of the universe in this space right now. Breathe in love and exhale love. Breathe in love. And exhale, love. And just keep allowing love to flow through you. Keep flowing 
and allowing. You are the flute. And as we deepen our meditation practice, we do so by anchoring the mind to a mantra or a mind vehicle. If you'd like, on the inhale, you can silently repeat to yourself, love, and on your exhale, you can also silently repeat the word love. If you prefer, on your inhale, you can silently repeat the word receiving or allowing. And on your exhale, you can silently repeat, letting go. So we silently repeat on the inhale, either love, receiving, or allowing. And on the exhale, we silently repeat, love or letting go. As you repeat the mantra of your choice, you might find that your words speed up or slow down. They might become louder or invisible in your head. They might even become jumbled or distorted. That's all right. That's part of your meditation practice. Accept it. Allow it. If you drift away to a thought, an emotion, a physical sensation, silently return your attention to your mantra, to your chant. Silently repeating one word on the inhale and another mantra on the exhale. I'll watch the time and when you hear my voice, just stay as you are with your eyes closed. So I'll be silent for a while as we all together deepen our meditation practice. So let's begin.
receiving, letting go, receiving, letting go, receiving, letting go. You can stop repeating the mantra now and stay with your eyes closed and allow the stillness and silence to settle in. And now together we take a long, slow, deep breath in and gently let that go. And let's do that together one more time. Long, slow, deep breath in. And gently release. And let's seal this energetic exchange. Let's seal our Tonglen Tibetan Buddhist meditation practice. This filling in what is empty and emptying what is full by chanting the hymn of the universe, Om. One time together, we take a long, slow, deep breath in. Om. We give thanks to the divine and we open ourselves to becoming vessels of truth and love. Wherever we go, we take our beautiful aura with us and touch everyone we meet. Feel the lightness in your body. Notice the quiet in your mind. Feel the peace in your heart. If you've been laying down Gently roll onto your right side, keeping your eyes closed, and push yourself up to a seated position. So everyone now, whether you've been laying down or you were seated during our practice, we're all seated now. Take your hands and briskly rub your palms together to generate warmth. Rub your palms together. And when they're warm, cup your palms over your eyes without touching your eyelids. Keeping your hands where they are, gently blink a few times giving time to your eyes to adjust to the light. And whenever you're ready, you may gradually drop your hands. My name is Ziba Khan. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. It's truly been a celebration to be with you. Again, if you would like to make a donation out of the generosity of your heart to the Children's Cancer Foundation, 
please visit Real Yoga Singapore on their website at www.realyoga.com.sg. Generosity is a beautiful practice. It opens up our heart, it relaxes our ego, and we spread love and kindness in the world. I wish you an amazing day filled with love, filled with health, and filled with gratitude. I honor the divine light in you that's also in me. And when you're in that place, and I'm in that place, we are one. Namaste.